This has become an increasingly common sight on the streets of India's capital. Long lines of people waiting to be tested for COVID-19. The country is facing a second wave where cases are rising much more rapidly than the first. Labs are overwhelmed and the waiting time for results has increased from a maximum of 12 hours to at least 24 and often longer. Since the past three days, I have been running around for my report. Where is my report? Here, the officials have no answers for me, asking me to go from one place to another. If I am ill, if I am sick, where should I go? What am I supposed to do? Like many Indian states, Delhi has been recording its highest number of cases since the pandemic began. Its leader announced new restrictions for the capital's 30 million people from Friday. Every day cases are increasing. And to control this situation, the Delhi government has taken some decisions. Today we had a meeting with the lieutenant governor of Delhi and we have decided to impose a weekend curfew in the capital. And all malls, gyms and spas must close and restaurants will only be allowed to do deliveries. The state wants to avoid the shortages of hospital beds, oxygen supply and healthcare workers being seen in other places like Maharashtra and Gujarat. The numbers are rising and it's anybody's guess where this number is going to stop. There are all kinds of activities still happening across the country which are likely to lead to further increase in these numbers in the coming few days. Despite the rise in cases, political and religious gatherings are continuing in many places. More than three million Hindu pilgrims have bathed in the Ganges River in the town of Haridwar this week for the Kumela festival. And millions voted in local elections in the state of Uttar Pradesh on Thursday, despite it recording more than 20,000 new cases the day before. As restrictions are imposed in some places and not others, those who have lost their livelihoods are angry. Many daily wage earners are asking why politicians, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi, are still allowed to hold large rallies while they aren't allowed to earn a living. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.